So in my last video I was talking about how I've been having a really sore back over the last couple of months and it's just destroyed me even being able to do the deadlift or even bending over and putting things onto a, into a shopping trolley. Anyway, I used the TENS machine or the EMS machine uh, to give my back a little bit of a workout and, uh, and I've managed to get my deadlift back up a little bit again and I'm just checking my form here and I can see my butt moves a little bit to the right there just as I go up the way. Um, but uh, I, what I think is that my form is actually okay. It's, it's not the best. I am. It is almost like a stiff leg deadlift that I do. It seems uh, my hips rise far too quickly. But in terms of the straightness of my back, I, I don't think that it's the form of my back that's uh, been causing the back pain. It's just something else. So there, get shoulders back. Back is pretty much flat all the way up. Um, so yeah, I've put a lot of stress on the hip uh, hip flexors uh, or hip extensions, which is like your ass and hamstrings. Uh, but keeping my, my spine as straight as possible, oh, bent the head up a little bit too quickly there, um, but uh, but feeling okay with that weight on that one there. Um, so that was 125, and I was thinking, brilliant, I can finally deadlift what I can uh, bench press again. Um, obviously, I can, I, like, I've done 178 in the past, uh, so this is pretty lightweight, but I'm, I just can't do it. I think also maybe doing it in, deadlift, in weightlifting shoes possibly isn't the best idea. So I went back in and tried to do it with uh, 130, I think this one was, or this was 120. Um, and uh, a second day of using the EMS machine, my back is feeling so much better. Uh, so before, I was barely able to do 80. Uh, here, I'm pretty much at my max strength at the moment, so 130. Uh, just trying to do two reps, got sweaty hands on this one as well. Um, but in terms of like my back position, although it's my butt's rising too fast, I'm pretty happy with it. 